Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are at uh, AWS reInvent, 32,000 people come together at the Sands Convention Center and a whole bunch of other locations talking about cloud. So I, I, think, I think this cloud thing is actually going to happen. I'm joined, I'm joined by my special guest, Itamar Ancorian. He's the CMO of Attunity. First off, welcome. Thank you very much, Jeff. Great to be here. Absolutely. Last week we saw each other was in Manhattan at uh, Big Data NYC. At the Big Data. Well, Big Data and Cloud. You can't ask for anything more interesting in our industry today. So, so, so the biggest exciting. data, Big Data prop I've ever seen on the keynote yesterday, a mm -hmm. semi full of Big Data. <laughs> Is the snow, uh, snow was, plow, what do you uh, think? The snowmobile, yeah, that was amazing. I think it just shows about you know, how much data people want to get, get into the cloud. And you know, we've been coming here for um, five years, actually, since the inaugural event. And I mean, it's just amazing to see how, how this show uh, you know, has grown. Yeah, they said 4,000 people the first year, right? Yeah, 4,000. This is about, about doubles itself every, every year. It's just, just amazing. And I think when you look at it, a few years back, people are asking, I mean, is really everybody going to move to the cloud? Is this going to be real? I think we're so much beyond that. As you know, Andy mentioned in his, in his keynote, the everybody's moving to the cloud. They're, they're running to the cloud, they're moving truckloads to, to the cloud, to your right, point about right. this, the semi and the snowmobile. <laughs> and it's just amazing to see the amount of innovation and the new services and new options customers have for doing things in the cloud. So, we're very exciting times. And you guys, you have your product with Amazon, mm -hmm. but you also have it without. What do you mm -hmm. think is kind of the tipping point this year that really, it really feels like a significant change from prior years as to kind of enterprise adoption mm -hmm. of AWS, specifically in cloud more generally? No, absolutely, and, uh, and we've been working with enterprise customers for, uh, for, for the longest time, uh, and also with Amazon. So, so you're going to take a step back, you know, we're a data integration, a big data management software company, so we help customers to get the data they need to where they need it, so they can migrate it, or they can analyze it. And if you go back a few years, people are still a little skittish or trying to understand, can I do data warehousing in the cloud? Right. So you know, we were one of the first partners to work with Amazon Redshift when it first came out. And since then, we've seen that, the amazing adoption from smaller customers that have never done data warehousing before, right. to um, uh, lines of business and departmental um, departments in, in business, uh, large businesses that want to do uh, data warehousing, all the way to the large enterprises. So it's been amazing to see the growth in adoption. So it's interesting, because it's really a kind of a democratization of the access to the data. Mm -hmm. But really it's not about the data, it's what you can do with the data, and about the analytics, and now we're seeing this kind of next wave, which is the, the democratization of the analytics put in the hands of people far more than just a data scientist, and having data far more than just a single repository. And that's what seems to really be opening up the innovation. I, I think you hit, hit the nail on the head, and I think what Amazon has done, especially when you look at it in the, 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 the keynote from yesterday, so many more services that enable access to the data, enable to do things with the data, different type of workloads, and all intended to provide a more agile uh, way for people to use the data. And that's what we are, by the way, trying to focus on and work with our customers. So, initially, when we started working with Amazon, we brought data to S3. That's where you get got data to. Right. But since then, it became S3. And then it became uh, RDS, the database. Then it became Redshift with the data warehouse. Then it became Hadoop with, uh, with the EMR. And uh, then you know, ex keeping expanding those platforms. And then yesterday, you know, they announced additional uh, platforms like Athena. Right. It's going to enable even more democratization of data access directly on, on S3. So we love it because, again, we want to give customers the options. And one of our best experiences has been working with customers and seeing our customers want to try and make, you know, have access to the data in different ways, use the data in more ways. And we're just trying to you know, keep up and keep ahead where we can and help them use data where they want to use it. It begs a question. So, you know, the question of how is Amazon as a partner, and AWS specifically, but there's kind of two sides to the coin. How are they coming from a business partner point of view, but also from a technical point of view, how do you keep up with all the different services and stuff that they roll out at this ridiculous mm -hmm. uh, pace? So that, that's a great question, and Amazon has been a great partner for us. So we've again been working with Amazon for Amazon Web Services for um, uh, well more than five years now. Uh, when we started, it was all around S3, and then again it expanded through course different services. And first of all, they're a great partner to work with because you know, they help us to you know, be successful with their customers. They provide a lot of um, uh, support uh, for partners to be able to bring products to market. So you know, we end up integrating our products into the marketplace to make it easier for customers to consume and, uh, and, and use the, uh, the solutions. We collaborate on optimizing and architecting the solutions so customers can get best of breed solutions. And in terms of keeping up, you know, we love the challenge. So, you know, for us, it's, uh, we're, we're a smaller company, we love moving fast, we love to innovate, so it's great. And we, we actually enjoy the, um, 
innovative, uh, reinventive process of you know bring ideas to Amazon, hearing ideas from Amazon right. from the customers, and coming up with solutions as quickly as we can to accommodate really the changes in demand that we see from customers. It's really uh, a core part of their secret sauce is the fact that they enable innovation um, mm -hmm. internally and externally and know how to actually put that into a process so it can become real. Mm -hmm. I think that is the strategic advantage that people don't talk about enough mm -hmm. as to how they keep coming up with all this new stuff, even as they grow to this huge $13 billion uh, mm -hmm. enterprise IT company. I, I agree, it's, uh, it's really amazing to see how quickly they come up, and uh, I, I actually find that the keynote at reInvent is one of the most interesting ones in the IT industry. Right. Um, can I go to many shows, and this one I think is one of the most interesting ones because the amount of new services, the amount of innovations is, uh, is staggering, right. is, uh, is, is great. So. It is technical, I mean, mm -hmm. Andy likes to get technical, uh, Werner likes to get technical, so you it know does. they're getting into the into the weeds. You know, I think that the, that the theme at the keynote this year re really summarized things nicely, which was around you know the superhero powers, right? Which again, Amazon Web Services are giving developers are giving companies the capabilities, the, the foundation for reinventing their business process, for doing things in a way you know more agile way. And what we're trying to do is come up with solutions to do that, do the same thing to enable customers to be more agile, to iterate quickly, to use less IT resources to get the business solution uh, done. Right. So we're very excited about keep keeping up, bringing up new things to market. All right, so you guys are here in force. Mm -hmm. uh, any new announcements? I'm sure you got some, got some surprises that you saved up for the show. But, but of course. <laughs> so yeah, we're actually very, very excited uh, to announce um, a new product for Redshift. So we've worked for the past few years with many Redshift customers. Big customers, small customers, and all of them want to get enjoy the agility that uh, Redshift gives them, the cost, the cost efficiencies, they want to benefit from the elasticity of, uh, of the cloud, but it's really around the agility. So for the past few years, we've helped customers with Latinity Replicate and CloudBeam to get data into Redshift very efficiently, as well as in real time. So they could create processes that continuously get data, fresh data, into Redshift. And what the customers told us is this is great, I got a data in Redshift, but I, the next step for me is to create a data warehouse itself. And that process has always been very cumbersome, very development-centric, not agile, takes a long time. So they were asking, can you innovate, can you do something there? And I'm very happy to announce that uh, we have a new product called Attunity Compose. Uh, that's a product we brought to market earlier in the year, and now we've brought it to the Redshift customer base. So we're happy to announce Attunity Compose for Amazon Redshift. All right. And what it does, it's a data warehouse automation software. So it's not just ETL automation, it takes the end-to-end -end process of creating a data warehouse and makes it much more agile and easy than ever before. And it's in the uh, AWS Marketplace, ready to go? Yes, it is. So it's available as of yesterday in the AWS uh, Marketplace. You can go, click it, get it, and get free trials and get going. And we look forward to working and engaging with customers as they try it out. Not only get the data to Redshift, but also very quickly create the data warehouses they want and dramatically, significantly faster than they could ever do before. All right, well, Edmar, thank you uh, for the catch up. It's always good to, uh, to touch mm -hmm. base. I don't know, we'll probably see you at Big Data SV maybe in, um, Most likely. in March. I think it's March coming up. So uh, great to see you and, uh, and congratulations on the new product. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to be here. Thanks, Jeff. Absolutely. All right, Edmar, Jeff, you're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.